Randy, it's great to see you again, and it's an exciting day because you've just put out yet another PFS, pre-feasibility study on metatase. What are the differences between the one just published and as, an, as an update and the 2013 PFS? Yes, thanks, Fred. The key difference uh, in, the, in, the, in the study that came out today is the fact that uh, we're demonstrating that uh, metatase can start off as a smaller mine, hence a lower capital cost, uh, grow into be a, a world-class mine, and uh, largely funded by cash flow, so uh, uh, and be economic at, at current metal prices. So that's really the the heart of the press release today, uh, versus the uh, 2013 study. You're accomplishing this by staging <clears throat> the development, so a smaller amount of production at the front end, using the cash flow to grow it up too. Yeah, there's a couple of reasons. First off, a lower initial throughput, so. Uh, the mine will be half the initial size uh, versus the 2013 study, which was at 60,000 tons per day. This study is at 30,000 tons per day. So moving less uh, dirt at the front end. Uh, we've also outsourced uh, some of the components that were owner operated in the previous study and the, and the largest one being uh, uh, all of your mobile fleet and mining like uh, Caterpillar equipment and like. So that's all been out on a lease basis. You've got low interest rates. It's attractive to do leasing. You don't have that capital cost. So uh, outsourcing and a little bit of out uh, uh, leasing um, in terms of equipment is, is, are the key differences in the capital cost structure. Water in Mexico has been a bit of an issue for some operators. Uh, what, what will happen at Metates? Well, we're actually in a pretty favorable spot, relatively speaking, in Mexico, because we're not in the desert, we're actually in the mountains. And, but the Mexican government last year uh, raised the tariff on water by 100%. So uh, for us, we do over 20 million cubic feet of water in terms of consumption, so that's close to a dollar, so it's a $20 million a year price tag. And you don't know over 30 year mine life what that price may go and if the water's still available at what cost. So we have an opportunity because of where this project is located, quite strategic, uh, near the Pacific Ocean, and we have low cost power, which now makes desalinated uh, uh, water an option. And our cost uh, for producing water is about the same cost as uh, natural uh, runoff. So um, it's a great fit for us. It's a win-win for uh, the stakeholders. Uh, and others uh, that we would be impacted in terms of a big mine such as uh, Metates in, in, in Durango. There are a handful of very large deposits like Metates. My impression is that most of them are gold and copper. Your gold, silver and zinc. Correct. Is that good, bad or is there an opportunity here? I uh, see it as a great opportunity for Metates because um, the difference between a copper gold and a, and a gold silver zinc is that we have uh, much more flexibility <clears throat> in terms of being able to do a silver stream, in terms of raising capital or doing a zinc takeoff, in terms of raising capital. Um, it's quite common and it's accepted generally by the investment community whereas today on a copper gold very difficult to deal with the copper and so you don't have the streaming alternative that uh, the Metates uh, metal stream uh, mix uh, affords you. So we think it's a huge advantage. Well, when you look at the study and, and the all-in sustainable costs over the life of mine, uh, at, at gold, at today's price, around $1,260 an ounce, how do you look? Well, uh, as the study shows, uh, our all-in sustaining cost is around uh, $662 an ounce. So, uh, and that's over a mine life of 30 plus years. So. Um, you know, it's very attractive um, and it's driven largely because you have a large open pit uh, which doesn't have a lot of uh, development work that you would typically see with an underground uh, deposit. And uh, so a very attractive uh, AISE, they call it, for all in sustaining costs and uh, certainly in the lowest quartile for the industry. People are very concerned about the environment and justifiably so. Mining has its uh, issues with regard to reclamation. What's Matate is going to look like as the study shows? You've heard about these, uh, the mines that have had these uh, tailing uh, breakdowns and, uh, and, and you know, horrible stories for the industry at large. And uh, that's another thing at Matate's. Uh, we do not have any uh, wet tailing uh, compoundment. Uh, our uh, tailing structures are what they call dry filtered. So we actually uh, filter the water out. So you have a dry stack material 
So it's actually the highest and best uh, use in terms of tailings, com uh, tailings, tailings management. So uh, again, you know, it's sort of a win-win, a -win, uh, bit of a cost to it, but as you can see our all-in sustaining cost is still pretty attractive at 662. It's a great story, Randy. Thank you very much. Thanks, Fred. Appreciate it.